police respond to a home and find a one-year-old unresponsive. The child is then rushed to the hospital, but there she later dies. Now the child's mother's boyfriend is charged and accused of murder. Police say it unfolded on Tamarack Street near Beck Road in Wixom shortly after midnight Saturday. It's a case the Oakland County prosecutor says is deeply disturbing. We've been working all day to learn more about this case and the circumstances surrounding it. Will Jones has been on the phone with police in the prosecutor's office. Will, what can you tell us? Kimberly and Devin, heartbreaking story. Police say mom was at work leaving her one-year-old child in the care of Christopher Savage. When mom comes home, the baby was unresponsive. The baby died at the hospital. This morning, Savage was in court facing a judge. 24-year-old Christopher Savage is charged with felony murder and child abuse first degree, accused of killing his girlfriend's one-year-old child, McKinley Hardy. Mom was at work in Southfield at the time. For approximately four hours, the child was left with uh, the boyfriend, and upon returning home, the mother discovered that her child wasn't breathing and wasn't responsive. Wixom Detective Sergeant Dean Caldwell says mom called 911. When officers arrived to the village apartment complex on Tamarack Drive early Saturday morning, they say the child's mother and Savage were performing CPR. McKinley was rushed to Ascension Providence Hospital in Novi and then transferred to Children's Hospital in Detroit, where she died. Investigators say the child died from multiple injuries throughout her body and that Savage was the only adult with her at the time she suffered those injuries. Police say Savage was cooperative at the scene. He was arrested hours later, late Saturday afternoon. The Wixom Police Department offering their condolences to McKinley's loved ones. Being a father myself, uh, this is, it's horrific, it's tragic, you know, I don't think anybody should experience this type of call. Unfortunately, it's part of our job. The officers are probably going to have to continue to deal with this for some time. It's not something that just goes away. Savage was denied bond this morning. If convicted, he's likely to spend the rest of his life behind bars. Savage is due back in court on June 12th for a probable calls conference. We're live in Wixom. Will Jones, Local 4. Yeah, we got it. All right, Will.